Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. I know we heard it all before. We're going to hear it over and over again. Yo big ass is too old to be playing with toys. Yo ass is too old to be posting pictures of you playing with toys. Your ass shouldn't be on Facebook showing pictures of toys. You should be showing pictures of your house and cars and stuff like that, but not of toys. You too damn old for that. Dude, how many of us done heard that? You go into the damn store, they see you in the kids section. They think you some sort of damn pedophile or child predator, and your ass is buying toys. You ain't fucking with nobody, kids. You're buying toys. That's the thing. People don't get it. You're not here for none of that shit. But everybody wants you to be here for that dumb shit. See, these are the things that I'm understanding. These are the things that I've been talking about, man. We're dealing with shit that we haven't dealt with before, man. We're getting hate from the outside people, and then we're getting hate from the people within. Dude, I know you like, uh, come on, man. You be making these same damn videos over and over again. But the shit is just keep popping up. It's keep happening. What would you do? You got to talk about this shit. You don't just let it lie, man. You like, man, I have enjoyment. I have fun. This takes my mind off my damn problems. You know, I get to sit in my, my cave or, you know, sit and look at my shelf or sit there and look at, you know, my little stand or the windowsill that I got the toys on. Dude, why is it that, you know, this hobby is looked down upon? Why do people frown on video games, comic books, Toys, die-cast cars, and stuff like that. Funko Pop. Why do they look down on that? You got people collecting shoes. Nobody care. You got people collecting vinyls, DVDs, Blu-rays. Nobody give a shit. But let you collect toys, video games, or actually comic books and sport cars. They be looking at you like you're a little-ass kid. Man, how old are you again? Dude, we shouldn't be there. We should just be like, man. This man is taking care of everything. This man or woman is taking care of everything that they're supposed to do. Who am I to tell them they shouldn't collect? They shouldn't have a hobby. They shouldn't be happy. You know, I always hear that from people, man. It's like, damn, do you just ever shut the fuck up? Excuse the language, but sometimes I get tired of hearing it. I get tired of people bringing us down, breaking us down, trying to make it seem like we don't understand that half of the shit that being talked about don't really have nothing to do with us, man. Oh, you playing with toys. You should be buying houses. What house you know costs $5? What house you know that costs $4? Explain this to me. What house you know that costs 99 cent for a Hot Wheel car? How many houses you know that cost 99 cent? Dude, I'm going to say it over and over again. People do not stay in their lanes. I think if people stayed in their lanes, we'd be okay right now. But we're not. We're not okay because people don't understand. Shut the hell up. We will all be okay if we understood that, look, hey, let people enjoy being who they are. Let people enjoy posing their toys, putting them up on stands, having them displayed nicely, you know. Look, everything don't need to be superposed, you know. And look, every collector is different. You know, some collectors love to pose each piece. Some collectors just love to stand them up. I'm one of those people that stand them up or pose them a little bit, but I don't have it overdone. I like what I like. And that's the thing that I get at. This is what this hobby is. It's about what you like, not about what everybody else is liking. Or everybody want to get into, oh, man, oh, man, that ain't something you should be into right now, man. See, you should be doing this. You should be collecting those. And, man, if you're listening to somebody telling you to collect this, this, and this, you're wrong, man. See, because you're supposed to know what it is that you should be doing. No, what you should be doing is what you like. Fam, and see, that's the thing that a lot of us is missing out on. We don't understand that just because other people don't see the validity of what you're doing doesn't mean that it's not doing what it's supposed to do. When you see me collecting, man, I'm having fun. You may see me complaining. I'm still having fun. Why am I complaining? Because sometimes you need to complain about shit. Life is not always black and white. Sometimes it's just you need to be upset. You need to be angry. You need to talk about boycotting something because it's not right. And you feel you're putting your money into it. You should be able to say some shit. And this is what I'm saying to everybody. Everything plays a part into everything. Oh, uh, you know, the way I see it, man. I'm going to explain it to you. See, you be picking up all those little toy lines and all of that. 
See, this is how you get all those damn wrestling, man. You just been picking up random figures, man. And see, those random figures right there, these ain't, you know, like some major figures. A lot of them are those little $5 figures, you know, the $10, you know, basic figures. Doesn't matter. $10 basic figures I was getting for $5. Some of them I was getting for $3.99. Dude, like I say, shit, those figures add up after a while. You get a ton of figures. Like I say, your whole damn collection is built up. Dude, you don't need all that. But people make it seem like you're supposed to. People make it seem like you're supposed to like what they want. Oh, yeah, I'm a wine connoisseur. Man, I'm a foodie. I like to go and eat food from different restaurants and, you know, you know, you know, um, basically improve my palate. You know, understanding what it is that I could actually partake in. I, I get it, fam. I get it. But that's not my thing. I do go out and I like to actually go to different restaurants and try different stuff. Yes, I do. I do have no issue with people drinking or anything else, dude. I don't have no I, no problems with none of that. But please stop having a problem with my shit. My shit doesn't affect yours. I don't pay for your stuff and you don't pay for mine. My biggest thing is why can't we just understand that we can get along with one another? We don't always need to sit here and actually downplay every damn body, you know, or have beef with one another. You know, we so damn caught up in it that we having beef with each other. We mad and we angry, we frustrated. You know, we over here, you know, pissing a fit. You know, it, we don't need to do all that shit. Dude, we pretty much got it covered. You know, like I said, man, I look and I was just sitting back listening to people talk to me when I was um, at this place looking at comic books, man. And I was like, man, you know, these comic books look a little hot. So I was checking, going through them. And, you know, I was at a Goodwill checking out some comic books, right? And the lady came along and said, damn, what you buying those for your kids? I said, no, I'm buying them for my damn self. You know, they got, you know, and she said this, and bless her heart, she said, well, they got grown people books back there. And I said, well, I said, won't you go back there and look at them? I said, what I'm doing right here has nothing to do with you. Could you please mind your business? You know, and she looked at me like, damn, like, of course, mind your damn business. See, this is why we get in the situations we get in. We minded some damn body else business. You know, whether whatever you had in mind to actually, you know, was this something you wanted to do or you were trying to talk or trying to speak up on some shit. Like I say, man, I don't have time to fuck with people. You know, I used to help people find toys that they couldn't find. I used to send off stuff to people, and we do this, we do that, we swap. Dude, no good deed goes unpunished, man. Dude, people were in pain. People were doing all type of foul shit. It was getting rough. People were talking about, oh, I never got it. And, you know, people were, <laughs> man, that's the shit. You know, like, look, I got tracking information that it was put in your damn hand. I had the damn... Uh, UPS, man, take a picture with your ass with it in your hand. Oh, man, I didn't get it. That ain't me. You be like, man, look, do it again at the end of the day. You got to understand, this hobby brings out the worst in people sometimes. So when I say people, I'm talking about just random ass people just wanting to comment, to say some shit, to tell you what the hell is actually going on, man. You know, some days I just get so tired. You know, I get so frustrated and agitated that people have negative words to say about the toy community. And, you know, man, y'all should be focusing on something else. You know, I'm like, damn, you know, like we are. We ain't messing with any damn body. If you don't want to be here, go to another channel. Oh, man. But, you know, I got some stuff to say about it first. You know, before I go to that channel, I want to talk about your channel first, man. Because see what I see in your channel, man. I understand that you don't understand what is really going on. No, I don't understand what's going on with other people's community. What's going on in other, you know, uh, you know, YouTube sectors like, you know, shit. I don't know too much about the sewing community, um, the trial hall community, you know, people only, you know, people sewing clothes. They got all type of shit here on YouTube. People um, uh, reviewing VHS, beta High eight, real to real, um, DVD, regular DVD, Blu-ray, HD. You know, I'm just saying there's so many different communities, and I don't hear people talk shit about those communities. <laughs> you know, you hear as a grown ass man, pedophile. You hear crazy shit like that, and you shouldn't. 
You should hear collector because that's what you're doing. You collect your shit. Oh, man, please, man. A man with that many toys, man, I'd be worried about kids. And I'm like, why are you worried about kids? Shit, I don't have any kids. What the hell would kids be doing here? <laughs> I don't got no kids. They all grown-ass men. And this is my point. You know, you get tired, man, and you get frustrated of people saying negative shit. You going into an aisle looking at the toys and, man, you picking up stuff. Dude, it's just wild as hell, man. Like I said, even the online factor is starting to get a little bad. You know, you shopping online, it's getting bad. It's just so much shit that's not working right now that just got you frustrated. Man, but to later, thank you for watching. Peace out.